Greetings and salutations. My name is Spencer Davis. I am here to give you a brief introduction about who I am, what I want to do, and then afterwards give you a brief lesson on colors. So, about me. Who am I? Go to my name. My name is Spencer Davis. And I'm a teacher, I am an explorer, I am a librarian, and I'm a communicator. I have a Master's in Library and Information Science, degree in Physics. And what's more important? I know how to communicate. I know how to speak with kids. I know how to grab their attention. I know how to keep them engaged, active, and listening. Something every teacher needs to know how to do. That's what I can bring. Now, you know, academic qualifications are all nice. They're good in everything. However, depends on experience, actual practical knowledge. There's no beating that. And that I do have. The Da Vinci Science Center is like a hands-on museum with interactive exhibits. So you go in there, you walk in, there is this billboard filled with thousands and thousands of pegs. You can put your hands in it and you just create shapes in three dimensions. It's absolutely amazing. Now, in all the exhibits that in all in all the exhibits that got you explained the science to everyone. Kids, kids adults everyone in, be in between. Now there's one room that's really my favorite, the shadow room. Now in the shadow room, it's filled with phosphorescent paint, paint that glows in the dark. So, walk in, flash unit goes boop, and captures kids' shadows on the walls. They love it. I get to explain to them how it works. So the energy from the light gets captured by the walls and thus the shadows stick right there. Then there's the touch tunnel, there's a seismograph that records the movements of the earth. There's so much there. So much science, so much wonderful things, so much learning that's happening. That's what I love to do. I love to teach. Now, aside from there, I've also been a substitute teacher for the downtown school district and downtown public library. I was a volunteer and program manager for one, two, no, over two years. So I have lots of experience dealing with kids, with adults, handling crowns of all shapes and sizes. Now, on a different matter entirely, my motivation for wanting to go to Japan. This is all well and good that I want to come over there and teach, but what's in it for me? What do I hope to gain? Me, I've always been fascinated by Japan. This, I want to go there, I want to learn about the culture. I want to go to festivals, I want to see as much as I possibly can and just immerse myself in the culture. There's no other way to learn about society than to go over there and just drown. Me, I also have a minor in East Asian Studies. I know enough Japanese to get me into trouble. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I would not be hopelessly lost by myself. Now, That's me, that's what I hope to learn. I want to just know as much as possible. Now, continuing on, could you do a brief lesson about colors? Just so you can actually see some of my skills in action. So, this is the book I'm going to be using of colors by Tana Hoba. And then I'm going to sing with you. Now, just so you understand what's going on, 
I'm going to treat you as though you were my class. So I'm assuming young kids, people who do not have much familiar, familiarity with English. So let us begin. Okay, everyone, my name is Spencer Davis. Happy to see you all here. So who here likes colors? Raise your hand. Okay, so I'm going to sing a song about colors. I'm going to sing about the color black. Can you say black with me? Black? Very good. So, this bird is black. Licorice is black. The stripe is black. Now we're going to sing a song about colors. This is the color green. Can everyone say it with me? Green? Didn't quite hear you. There we go. So forth and so forth. You can go on, gets the kids engaged, gets some, some thinking, they can hear, they can see the image, they can associate it. So it's good for visual learners, for auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, because they actually are getting up to doing something. It, it's good all the way around. And for people who are just beginning to learn English, they not only get to see but they get to hear, they get to know, they get to interact. And there's a positive reinforcement going on. So, that's it. Brief introduction about myself. I get to see some of my skills in action. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much. This is Spencer Davis, signing off.